Right, well, uh, here I am on Easter Sunday, on a lovely Sunday morning. And, uh, good morning to you, sir. Good morning. I'm the Prince of the Allotment, and um, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. Uh, first of all, um, how long have you been in Walker? 30 years. 30 years. And um, how long have you had an allotment? About 10. And what's the, uh, the particular pleasure that you get? Well, I have to be honest, it's not all pleasure, oh. but I feel a, a hunting and gatherer in me, hunter-gathering, and uh, I come from Somerset, from an old village farming community. And when I had the business, I accepted that the business was king. Uh, when I retired, I decided the back garden was too small, and I was under a north wall, I couldn't grow veggie, and we always had the veggie in my previous life in Somerset. Right. Therefore, I bit the bullet and came here, and I've never regretted it. But if you wanted an allotment, I'm not one of those that enjoy the views or sit in the chair or right. like the community spirit of it, which is all very good and reasons that people take them. The reason I took it was purely to get some exercise and to try and provide. But there are some days I'm on the allotment I'm quite miserable. Oh when it's hard work yeah. and uh, and when the animals have been in and, and bitten the crops away or um, the ground is hard and the weather's unkind. And these are the times most people give up their allotments but I would plead with them to continue because uh, I read a poster once and it said leisure is sweet only when it follows work well done. Awesome. And I feel that in the allotment, having done the work, you enjoy your leisure. Thank you, Mark. Uh, what, what, what about the animals? The depredations of the animals? Uh, well, again, um, uh, what have we got? Do we get badger? We get I badger? think we get. Uh, I've been suffering rather badly with the deer biting the crops, and I fence mine in. And this winter, in the snow, the purple sprouting were the only things above the snow that the pigeons could get at, and they decimated most of them. But luckily, I had nets over mine, and I'm going to pick some now. That's a problem. Well, I won't tell you anymore because I know you're a busy man. I'd like to say your name, sir. Uh, it's Brian Carter, ex-shoe man of Stroud. Now, I'm Crown Prince of the Alumnus.